Hi everyone, this here is my YouTube studio. I took a room from my house to make it a YouTube studio and this room has an open space. I wanted to close this open space with something temporary so that I can open it and close it whenever I want without drilling holes. And also I wanted like a nice color for the backdrop so that when I film my YouTube videos, the color will be like a neutral color. So I got white blackouts and at the same time, these blackouts are room dividers. So these are curtains that I'm gonna put on a tension rod. So I got these from Amazon. These are the boxes here. So I'm gonna open them and then I'm gonna install them and you're gonna see the final result. The space I want to cover is from this wall here to the opposite wall and it is approximately 130 inches. And I got a tension rod that is 141.7 inches. And the height I want to cover is 94 inches. So I got the curtains that are 84 inches long. So let's open the curtains now and start the installation. This here is a box of the curtains. I got two curtains. One is 100 inches wide and the other one is 60 inches wide. And both of them, of course, they are 84 inches long. And I got them off white and this is very good for a backdrop because it's neutral and this is the tension rod the tension rod extends from 122.1 inches until 141.7 inches and it is black so these are the assembly instructions and of course i will be needing a leveler so that when i put the tension rod it will be straight it is made of aluminum and it has a very good thickness so I don't think it will bend in the middle and notice here is where the tension rod extends so you extend it like this and then it has here the tension and they said to put it from four to six centimeters more than the width that you want so that you can squeeze it like this so these are the curtains and I'm gonna put the curtains in the tension rod so let me put it and you need to put it like this so you put one here and the other one like that and so on until it is all installed and I need to install the second one too and this is the 60 inches so they have front and back the front and back are good so notice the stitching here it is good and by the way I'm gonna leave a link in the description for both the curtains and the tension rod if you care to check them out this is an Amazon affiliate link. I will gain a small percentage, but at no cost to you if you make a purchase using my link. Okay, so now the curtains are installed and I'm gonna install the tension rod now on the walls. So for the endings of the tension rod, you have two sizes. You have a small size and a bigger size. And this is because the tension rod on one end of it, it will have the small here diameter and on the other end it will have the bigger diameter so make sure to put the small one and the small diameter here and of course put the other one in the big diameter and this is what i'm gonna do now so the first thing i'm gonna do now is that i'm gonna measure the length of the rod here so it should be like this so i need to extend it and they said to extend it as i told you four to six centimeters let's extend it so now what i'm gonna do is that i need to push like this like crazy so this is what i'm gonna oh here you go oh oh my god it wasn't easy i can tell you so this is the end result see how nice it looks and it really makes a very nice backdrop for my youtube studio so i have to level it so see how it is leveled in the middle if you have any questions or any comments feel free to put them in the comment section below and i'll be happy to answer all your questions and all your comments i want to thank you all for watching and i hope that you liked this video and you found it useful if you did please share it subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up i'm Eloy from stuff around the house See you on the next video.